Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adri Monet. Thank you for being here with me today. So today I'm doing a look using e.l.f. Cosmetics. I've heard so much about their products and how affordable they are, so I wanted to give it a try myself. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Tell me what you think. Let's get started. I've already primed my eyes using the concealer and powder, and now I'm just going to jump right into the eyeshadow routine. I'm using their Bite Size Eyeshadow, the Truffle Shades. I'm going to start off with this light brown color, and I'm taking that color right across my brow bone and also into the outer corner of my eyes. I'm noticing that this color is not very pigmented, so I'm having to dip my brush back into the eyeshadow numerous times to get the amount of color that I want on my lid. The next color we're going to use is a darker brown color and I'm going to blend that color right into my crease and I'm also going to blend it outwards to the outer corner of my eyes. I want to also make sure that I'm blending this color slightly upward into the first color we use. The next color we're going to use is kind of a silvery charcoal color, definitely has some shimmer in it and we're going to add this right onto the lid. I started out using brushes to blend this color onto my lid but once again for some reason it wasn't coming out on my lid very pigmented and whenever that does happen I always go and use my finger. The last color we're using is just a black color and we're going to blend that in the outer corner. We're going to blend it slightly upwards into the dark brown color and slightly forward on the lid into the silver. But we definitely don't want to make it go too far. Next I'm going to line my lids with ELF's Intense Ink Eyeliner. I like how fine the pen is and I also like that it's not too liquidy so that I can have more control over how much ink is actually going on my lid. So I wanted to talk about the affordability of ELF's products. Right now with COVID-19 happening, a lot of people have suffered financially um, just from the virus alone. And I feel like right now is the perfect time to take advantage of other brands where their products aren't so costly. With everything that I'm using in this video, I didn't spend over $50 and that's pretty good for a makeup line. So I'm going to get started on my face and I'm starting with ELF's Matte Putty Primer. I like the feel of this primer, it's super smooth going on my skin. I'm using ELF's Flawless Finish Foundation and this is the color Suede, medium tan. I will say that I had a really hard time matching my skin. Um, with drugstore brands, you don't have people there to match your makeup for you or you know give you a swatch. So as you can see, this foundation color is slightly lighter than what I am. And so I figured out a trick where I'm actually using my contour color and I'm mixing, mixing it in with my foundation color to even it out so that it matches perfectly.
now it's time for some highlighting. I am using L16 Hour Camo Concealer in the color Medium Beige to highlight my T-zone areas. I will say I love the consistency of this concealer and it definitely lasted throughout the day. So I plan on using this more in the future. Next, I'm going to use ELF's Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium to set my concealed areas. Now, this is the darker shade of the concealer, the 16-hour camo concealer that I use to mix in my foundation. And I'm going to actually use this color for contouring. This is the rich chocolate shade. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using the same beauty blender for contouring and highlighting. On one side of the sponge I'm using to contour, and the other side I have the lighter concealer on the sponge from the highlighting. So you'll see me go underneath my contour several times just to sharpen my contour using the highlighting side of my sponge. Hopefully that makes sense. Going into the contouring portion where I'm contouring my nose, I'm not going to use a beauty blender for that. I'm going to use a smaller brush to make sure I'm able to shape my nose the way I want. Next, I'm going to use ELF's bronzer palette just to add some powder to the contoured areas. Just like I added the pressed powder to my highlighted areas, it's also good to set your contour with powder, especially if you're using a liquid contour. So now we're gonna jump back into the eyes and work on the lower lash line. I'm adding the darker brown color that I put in my crease. First, I'm using that along my lower lash line and blending it to the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to blend the light brown color into that color as well, taking it to the outer corner of my eye. I'm adding mascara before I put my lashes on. This is ELF's Lash Extending Mascara. I recently discovered that I really like Salon Perfect's lashes. So this is their brand, the Medium Curl um, in the style 671. So funny story guys, I promised that when I went shopping for these e.l.f. products that I did buy e.l.f.'s blush, one of their blushes. And before recording this video, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to improvise. And so you can always use a lipstick or even an eyeshadow 
to use as blush if you ever have a situation like me where you lose it and can't find it. <laughs> so if you are going to use a lipstick like I am in this video, just make sure you don't smear it on your face too hard. Of course, you don't want to disturb the foundation and concealer that you worked so hard to put on already. So just lightly tap it on your cheeks and lightly rub it in with your finger. Sometimes this can be really scary because you don't want to mess up and have to start over. Just take your time and be gentle. So it's time to shine. This is e.l.f.'s highlighter in the color White Gold. It went on very good, very pigmented, and added the perfect amount of pop for this look. Don't forget to add a little bit of pop in the inner corners of your eyes. Now for the lips, this is e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the Taffy Shade. This is a really serious pink, a really, remind me of like a Barbie pink, which I always love. Sometimes I like to add a gloss over my lipstick. This is e.l.f.'s Lip Pumping Gloss in the color Sparkling Rose. This was a really nice gloss, you guys. Not too thick, but also not too thin. Last but not least, we're gonna shape up these brows using e.l.f.'s Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I really liked their pencil. I always like a pencil with the spoolie at the end. All of it together just makes it way easier and quicker. All right guys, we are all done with this look. I love it. I used to be a non-believer of Elves products because they were almost too affordable, but their products are bomb and I plan on using them more in the future. So guys, please tell me what you think. Comment below, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and I will see you guys next week. As always, stay flawless beauties.